Hey everyone, it's Deanna with Deanna's Paper Crafts, and I'm here to share with you today um, my project that we're doing over um, at Cutters Creek for National Crafting Month. This week we're sharing new projects every day of the week for the first seven days of March to help jumpstart everybody's crafting um, juices going and get you all involved with National Crafting Month. Now my project is for a little mini album for a little girl. All of my pattern paper is from um, Prima Sweet Fairy paper pad. Um, my album is actually cut from um, the Silhouette Store. It's, a, it's an al mini album that I found at the Silhouette Store. And I just thought it was too cute. Um, it cuts these pages, it cuts the binding, and it also cuts the little holes in the back. And then you just tie it together with string for your binding. Now the front of this is a sticker I had. And the binding I ran through my ebosser and embossed it with um, an embossing folder. On the end, the first two pages, the this page here, um, this is just a sticker. This is some um, ribbon that I had um, that has some. It's real sheer, and I use score tape to lay it down with. And then I cut um, a uh, carriage Im image that I welded create a tag for her. More like a little mini card so she could put some information in there about the baby. And this album's going to go to a friend of my daughter's. And then this page is just a map for a photo. I had a little flower. A little. This is actually a button that I cut the um, little thing off the back and stamped welcome little one with some rosebud memento ink. Again this is just a um, mat for a photo. You can slip the photo back through here. And one more mat for a photo. Now this one, I created a tag for it. I think this is from the Birthday Bash um, cartridge. It was cut four inches high and three and a quarter inches wide. And it's actually a square tag that I used my Gypsy to resize. And then um, stamped the sweet baby and the little hearts and then added some liquid pearls to the hearts. So she can add um, some notes about the photo. There's plenty of room there. She might even be able to slip another photo in there if she wanted. This page here is for, um, oh, and the, the twine on the tag is from the Doodlebug Little Girls Collection. Now this page here, I printed this birth announcement out using the Nursery Rhymes cartridge in my Imagine. And I cut some tags again to go behind this. I, add, I um, put this on with some foam tape so there was a pocket. And I created some little tags, and these little brads are all from the um, My Mind's Eye. They just fit in here behind the photo, and then I have some little um, booties here and another little button. These are stickers. This page here, again, is just a mat, and I cut these little photo quarters from straight from the nest, and I hope you're seeing that because it's pretty dark and dirty here. Um, and I raised these up on foam tape so she could slip her photo in behind it and then added some stardust stickles to those because what little girl does not like some bling. This is a baby crib that I cut from Everyday Paper Dolls and again I just added a tag that I cut from Plant and School Book. The tags were cut at three and a quarter inches and I inked all these tags, these white tags, with some angel pink a memento ink. I added some little roses up here in the corner, a little tag that you can see it says sweet dreams when you take the tag out, this tag out, and some more embellishments. And again there's plenty of room for her to slip a little photo, more notes, memento items in there. Now this page, and I'm hoping you can see this, I created a little um, mini album inside a mini album. So I just put some little girl papers on each side so there's plenty of room for her to add a lot more photos in here that way. Now this page, really, I just decorated it because I thought you need one page just decorated. So I had this sticker of the little clothes drying on the line and the little one that said baby girl and then these, these gorgeous rhinestone intertwined hearts and I added that because I really thought this purple went with this page um, and it just was too cute to not use. Um, again, this is a mat, and it's also inked with the angel pink ink from Momento. And then the back page, and that's my album. 
Now I used um, Zip Dry and Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive on most of this. I used Glossy Accent on the crib and foam tape. So um, to hear most of my album or most of my pages to the album, or my embellishments, along with the stickers. So I hope you will join us for National Crafting Week and leave us a comment. Let us know over at Cutters Creek. Um, blog, the design team blog, what um, you guys are doing for National Crafting Month, what kind of projects you're working on, and also if there's any particular projects you'd like to see from the design team, any products highlighted, we would just love to hear from you. So um, we hope you'll join us, and thanks for visiting, and thanks for looking at my project. Bye!